everyone. Welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Uh, today I wanted to show you a book that I ordered called Fright and Seek, A Spooky Search and Color Mission by Leigh Melindres. And this book was originally published in 2017 and it was titled Exploratorium. And I was watching one of my friends on Twitch stream, Erin. She was streaming this book and I was like, this book is amazing gotta have it and I kept thinking the name that name looks really familiar the artist and so I was looking through my books and I was like right 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 he did uh, doodle fusion which is a Zifflin coloring book that I've done some things in and really enjoyed um, probably you guys probably remember me doing a cube I didn't actually do it on stream but I showed pictures of it um, and then I also did this one. Uh, so I, I put these on, on social media a while ago, but yeah. So anyway, he did Doodle Fusion. So I, I was watching Aaron stream this book and I was like, I've got to have this book. It's awesome. It's incredible. So I uh, wanted to order it and get it for you. But anyway, the original one was Exploratorium, uh, which is no longer in print. I looked for it everywhere. Book Depository, Amazon, I googled it. Not in print anymore. Uh, you can get used copies of Exploratorium on eBay, which I'm not a fan of. I I always prefer to have new books because I want to, you know, do my own thing in them. And that's just how I am. So anyway, uh, they retitled it this year, 2019, to Fright and Seek. And it is published by Penguin Workshop. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the paper. Um, the paper is, it's not bad. It's not great. It's not like, you know, really thick, thick paper, but it's not bad. Um, I would not advise using any water-based mediums or any markers. And the only reason I say that is because they're dual-sided pages. So it's going to go through to the other side and ruin, you know, the other side of uh, the page. Um, if it was one-sided, of course, go to town, but it's not. So I, I would just be very careful. Test it in the back of the book first um, before you do it. Um, but I personally am going to stick with uh, um, colored pencils in this book. So, yeah. So anyway, so the way this works is each two page spread is a search and find. So uh, this is the beginning of the book and these are some items that uh, the artist wants you to find throughout the book and then write down how many you found. And there are answers in the back as far as how many are actually in the book. Uh, I'm not looking at that. Um, I'm gonna find things on my own without looking at the answers. So, okay. So here's the first spread, uh, Alien Invasion, and each, each uh, theme is laid out with a section at the top about the theme, and then you have, uh, on the left side, you have little monsters that you have to find throughout the page. Well, I sat down, I got the book Monday night, I sat down and I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be, you know great. It'll be fun. It'll be easy. It's like a kid's thing. You know, I'll find them in no time. Um, I, I can't find all of them. I, it's insane how, how much detail are, are in these pages trying to find these, these little creatures throughout here. I, I haven't found all of them and I'm determined to find them. It's driving me crazy. Um, I don't know if Aaron's watching this, but let me know if you found all of these little guys because I sure as heck have not found them. Um, anyway, uh, this is a very detailed book. If you're not into detail, probably not the book for you. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of shading in these books or, or put a lot of thought into it. I'm just going to, like I did with the other doodle books, I'm just going to pick a color and go, you know, just throw some color on the page. I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, is find these little guys and actually color them first so I know where they are on the page. So <clears throat> this one's called Time Traveler. And I've only found this little guy, this little ninja guy. 
Ugh. It's frustrating. It's like, oh yeah, this is great. No problem. Yeah, it's a problem. That's what happens when you get old, right? Can't find things. Lose your mind. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Candyland. Lots of yummy things on this page. Um, and I've only found, uh, I think it was this guy. Was it that guy? No. It was this guy. I only found this guy. Yeah. Alpine Adventure. A lot of trees and snow. Which, I'm not big on coloring snow because I can never get the color right. Um, I know a lot of people enjoy coloring snow, so this would be a great one for you. Circus. Uh, this, this looks a lot of fun. This, I would do a lot of bright colors on this page. Um, a lot of bright yellows and pinks and orange, and aqua, fun colors. Fright Night. A lot of creepy things, which I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite, uh, times of the year. So, uh, another good reason to get this book now so you can, you know, have it for Halloween. Because it's right around the corner. I can't believe we're in the middle of August. The year has just flown by. Uh, Future City. Got Fairground. This is another one that I could see doing bright colors with. Science Lab. These, uh, these intimidate me a little bit because the amount of metal looking objects on the page. I'm not a fan of coloring metal. Um, it, it just intimidates me. I, I don't get the color right. So whenever I, I find something metal, I usually just use a, a glitter pen or something shiny, like a shiny gel pen. So you can see that it's something shiny. <laughs> so, uh, North Pole. Graveyard. That's awesome. Yeah, lots of oranges and grays and like dark colors. That's what I would do. Uh, under the sea, there's a shipwreck. Lots of sea, little sea monsters. Robot Factory, another one with a lot of metal objects. <clears throat> I mean, if any of you guys have any tips or tricks on how to color uh, metal, let me know. Or if you have a, a YouTube video that I can watch. I'm sure I can Google it. I'm just lazy. Uh, <laughs> at least I'm honest. Uh, river Rampage. That's fun. They're on a big inner tube going down the river. Skate park. Forest hunt. Lots of greens and browns I see for that page. Haunted house. This one's my favorite. Um, this is going to be awesome. Got a Frankenstein up here in the corner. You got all kinds of ghosts. Goblins, you got your pumpkin, you got your black cat down here, got headless guy, really cool. Infinity and Beyond, this is a space themed one, so you've got a bunch of little robots and ships and cool stuff. Again, a lot of metal on this page with all these spaceships. Volcano. That'd be cool to do bright orange lava, orange red lava. Let's see. Rainforest. Wow, that's that's detailed. Holy cow. Look at that. Yikes. And usually, if, if you pay attention to any of uh, his work, he always puts his initials somewhere on the page. So he's got it in the trunk there. This is fun. This pool party. 
I've got a, a robot butler passing around drinks. So you got a big slide going into the pool. It's pretty fun. You got you got little guy cooking over here on a grill. Magical kingdom. We've got a unicorn. Oh, you got gems. That's another one. I can't stand coloring gems. I can't do it. I get so frustrated <laughs> trying to get the shine to the gems. Uh, lost in the city. You got your skyscrapers, and you got a guy on a jetpack right here. You got guys playing, like, I guess craps over here in the corner. <laughs> Scorch Earth. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a desert theme. A lot of cactus and rocks and got bones down here. Sewer search. Yuck. <laughs> Can you imagine sewers looking like that? Oh, wow. Oh, and these are all the answers. I'm not going to look. Uh, but all the answers are in the back. Uh, he circled all the answers so you can see them. For all the little robots he wanted you to find. And then down here, it shows you the number of items that he asked you to find in the front of the book. So, so that is Fright and Seek by Melandras. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not sure if I am. And if I'm not, I'm sorry I'm butchering it. So... Anyway, I wanted to share that book with you guys. Uh, I am going to be streaming tomorrow, Thursday, August 15th on Twitch. Really nervous about it because I'm going to show you guys um, a brand new, uh, I don't really know if you'd call it a medium. I thought it was a medium, but it's a, just a new art experience that a friend of mine um, mentioned to me and I had never heard of it. And I checked it out and I, I went a little crazy and ordered a bunch of... Um, <laughs> bunch of materials and books so uh, I have a lot to show on stream tomorrow um, and I am going to demonstrate it uh, it's very exciting I'm having a lot of fun with it um, but I am nervous because this is the first time I've done anything like this on stream um, so hopefully you guys will come and check it out anyway uh, I'm going to put the link to Amazon where you can get this book uh, so that'll be in the link uh, down below. And then um, I'll also include my uh, link to Twitch. And if you follow me on the Facebook group page or on Twitter, it's in there as well. So anyway, hope you guys have a great afternoon and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.